This presentation is a synopsis of our current project on grid computing which is the common man's supercomputing experience and this project is brought to you by easytechforall.com. What is a grid? A grid is a shared collection of reliable and unreliable resources and interactively communicating researchers of different virtual organizations. Grid system controls and coordinates the integrity of the grid by balancing the usage of reliable and unreliable resources among its participants, providing better quality of service. Grid computing is a method of harnessing the power of many computers in a network to solve problems requiring a large number of processing cycles and involving huge amounts of data. Most organizations today deploy firewalls around their computer networks to protect their sensitive proprietary data. But the central idea of grid computing to enable resource sharing makes mechanisms such as firewalls difficult to use. How does a grid computing system work? In general, a grid computing system requires at least one computer, usually a server, which handles all the administrative duties for the system and a network of computers running special grid computing network software and finally a collection of computer software called middleware. What are some of the advantages of grid computing? Let's look at some of the benefits and applications in the field of business and commerce. It improves the efficiency by improving computational capabilities brings together not only IT resources but also people, it creates flexible, resilient operational infrastructures, it addresses rapid fluctuations in customer demands. In the field of technology, it federates data and distributes it globally, it supports large multidisciplinary collaboration across organizations and businesses, it enables recovery and failure also boosts the ability to run large-scale applications comprising thousands of computers for a wide range of applications. It reduces signal latency, which is the delay that builds up as data are transmitted over the internet. Grid computing offers a way to solve grand challenge problems such as protein folding, financial modeling, earthquake simulation and climate weather modeling. Grids offer a way of using the information technology resources optimally inside an organization. They also provide a means for offering information technology as a utility for commercial and non-commercial clients with those clients paying only for what they use as with electricity or water. Grid computing is being applied by the National Science Foundation's National Technology Grid, NASA's Information Power Grid, Pratt & Whitney, Bristol Myers Squibb & Company and the American Express. But this fact will certainly interest the ignited minds. You can help in the search for extraterrestrial life by logging on to SETI at the rate right home and embark on your very own alien research project. The SETI grid computing network was using more than 3 million computers to achieve 23.37 sustained teraflops which computes to around 979 lifetime teraflops as of September 2001. Now let's put things in perspective to understand the capability of grid computing networks. The grid computing Bitcoin network is 100 times more powerful than Google. The app is brought to you by Vodafone and it's called Dream Lab. The Dream Lab app helps you power cancer research in your sleep. It is Australia's first smartphone supercomputer. It combines the power of idle phones to fast-track cancer research. 
Each phone processes a tiny research problem and sends the result back to Garvin. Dream Lab is an online app, so it needs data to work. Mobile data is free if you are with Vodafone Australia. If you are not, you will use from your phone or Wi-Fi plan. But it's small and you can choose your monthly limit. The app doesn't drain your battery or access your private information and you can still use your phone as usual. To know more about Garvin's research progress, you can send them your details in the app itself. It also keeps track of your time contribution. Finally, we reach the end of the presentation on our research project on distributed or grid computing, which is all about saving the world while you sleep. To know more, visit easytechforall.com.